They may be on the road, but the Bulls still know how to dress to impress. A look here as they come off the bus earlier today. Hello basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Pacers. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. And then on Friday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Levine on the wing along with DeRozan. Rojevic is the pivot. Williams is in the other post spot. And it's White in at the guard position. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the bowl. DeRozan finds White. Vucevic set the pick for DeRozan. Pass to Vucevic. Nice hit again. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Boy, so smart and relentless on the offensive glass. Seems to me that Vucevic has that extra sense of tracking down missed shots. Seems to just have a nose for the ball. Now, here's Siakam. This game we saw him score 14. Greg, in terms of the Pacers last few seasons, some have pointed to their relative lack of size. What do you think? Well, I think a big push for them this summer was adding to their front court, particularly getting more size at the forward positions. And I think they've improved in that regard. A stat sheet stuffer of a player. DeRozan has really improved as a passer. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Halliburton. 12 points his last outing. Turner with a screen on Williams. Siakam passes to Turner. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Vucevic. Man, excellent patience from Turner close to the basket there. I mean, forced the defense to get a little handsy with him in the paint. You know, Greg, one thing you got to admire about Miles Turner is how sensational a shot blocker he is. Every year among the leaders in the NBA. And Kevin, such a dependable defensive anchor. Someone that just reads shooters well, knows when to go after the block. And, you know, because Turner is such a good free-throw shooter for his position, defenses really can't send him to the line too often. He'll make them pay. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, how long does all of your off-season rest usually last you at the start of the regular season? Like, when do you start to really feel the games again? You know, the fatigue comes at you fast, Kevin. So that rested feeling only lasts about a couple weeks. Nothing wears you out like playing NBA ball. Indiana off to a slow start. It's a five-point game, and that one, good. It's important that Siakam plays with confidence from there. I mean, when he does, the results are often like that one. The Bulls have gone two or three here to start out the game. There's a screen by Williams. There's Levine. Good D by Siakam. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And good that time. Boy, and Turner's really good at picking the defense apart, especially with the catch-and-shoot jumper. Levine deciding where to go with it. Here's Williams. Williams, a screen on Matherin. DeRozan passes to Williams, and it's Williams finishing it off. Boy, for a player who can be a one-man offense, DeRozan's got plenty in his passing game skill set, too. Halliburton against White. Halliburton outside. Here's Nemhard. Turner with a screen on Levine. Five to shoot. 
buries it down low. Turner's got five now. Turner doing a nice job setting himself up for a shot off that pick and roll. Here's White. First quarter of play. We're about three minutes in. And Vucevic kicks to Levine. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. To the paint. Here's Williams. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. And going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. And, and they won the season series against this club last year. But you know, then again, so did a lot of other teams. we got to be honest here, which is really the only way I roll. Neither of these teams are world beat. I mean, but you've got to start somewhere. A win tonight would be a step in the right direction. Williams has a screen for Levine. Passes it to Williams. And stolen by Siakam. And a wide open look for Halliburton. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Trailing by four. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. He feeds it to Vucevic. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Levine brings a lot to this team. One of the elements he brings is his passing. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. Both teams will make substitutions. And while we have a moment, let's check the stats for DeRozan. Coming off a terrific season, and he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percent. Yeah, and like you said, one of the better scorers in the NBA last season. A tireless worker on the offensive end. He could be even better this season. Yeah, you got to get out on that. Siakam demonstrating that ability to hurt you from beyond. DeRozan, a screen on McConnell. Carter dish it to DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. Here's McConnell. The Bulls getting their last shot to go. And there's the pass to McDermott. Pocket six. Siaka misses. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Here's McConnell. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Andre Drummond picks one up. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from McConnell. That one is no good. Halliburton against Carter. Here's DeRozan, and he uses the glass on the way. Let DeRozan get this close, and he will finish strong. Halliburton for three. Knocks down the three ball. Halliburton's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Indiana. He does not lack the confidence. He, the first he should. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Tyrese Halliburton has been on display for Indiana. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Back right after this. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Indiana you know right from the start it seemed they got hot from three-point range pulling apart the defense and racking up the points too and another thing coach will be thrilled with the assist numbers spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities Bulls trail by five 
Neesmith is out there with Toppin. And it's T.J. McConnell. Then it's Halbert. And it's Smith in at the five. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. Few players get more dunks than Drummond. He's a center who plays like a traditional center, looking to throw it down every chance he gets. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. These days, the ball is in Pascal Siakam's hands. He says it means everything. Being on the ball just gives you a better rhythm. I don't think it's hard. It's just something you grow into. I have those images in my head of where I want to get to. Now, defenses often look to double, and he said, if I played me, I would do that too. Kevin? <laughs> All right, David, thank you. Taylor's shot, good. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Now, here's Neesmith. That's game at 13. Smith up top. Pass to Hallibert. In the corner, it's Toppin. Goes back up. And Halliburton with the layup. Halliburton's got the lead up to five now for the Pacers. How about Halliburton getting his hands dirty, going in there, crashing the offensive glass. Love the versatility. Taylor passes to Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. And can put the other team on its heels. We'll see how it plays out. And so it's Indiana with it. The Bulls getting the bucket. Neesmith can't get it to go. Bulls trail by three. Taylor with the ball. And it's Toppin picking him up. Drummond sets the screen for Levine. And Drummond throws it down. Boy, a little contact will not deter Drummond. I mean, he gets physical right back and finishes strong. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. McConnell scanning the floor. Toppin sets a screen for McConnell. To the right side. From the arc. Rebound by the Bulls. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. And in terms of intensity, they, they kind of took the night off. L looked like they were just going through the motions. Yeah, you know, to me, I agree. They just never looked engaged, which is surprising considering how close the game ended up being. The shot's good from Halliburton. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And, Kevin, we, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes to play the five. But with MVP-level seasons from guys like Jokic and MB, the center isn't quite extinct yet. So, Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Vucevic checked in for Andre Drummond. Williams comes in for Taylor. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Alex Caruso. And it's wide in for Dosumi. Chicago trailing here. Two minutes. Williams kicks to DeRozan. Two minutes. There's 154 left to play in the first half. Vucevic, and it's sent back by Turner. Man, the defense of Turner is astounding. I mean, he positioned himself well to come up with a lot of blocks. Pass to Siakam. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. That's seven points for Siakam. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway, take the shot that's available. Levine with it, now guarded by Siakam. The shot by Williams, no good. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Good on the triple. And with each made three, Matherin's confidence rises. An encouraging sign. Vucevic finds DeRozan. Vucevic is screen on Matherin. Back to Vucevic. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Here's Siakam after the main shot from Nikola Vucevic. Siakam against Williams. Siakam's shot is off. 
He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Theme passes to Vucevic. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Now, here is Halliburton. Twelve points for him. Here's Nemhard, and looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. DeRozan scanning the floor. Picked by Williams. DeRozan passes to Williams. And it's slammed in by Williams. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. It's a tie game in Indiana. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks for joining us, and first off, let's take a look at the Players of the Week. The selection for the Western Conference, Luka Doncic. This isn't the first, and it will not be the last one of these awards for Luka Doncic. A master at getting his own shot, as well as creating for others, simply unstoppable on offense. Also, a tremendous rebound in his position. And let's take a look back at the first half. The Bulls are in a close one. You look at their shot chart, what stands out to me is all the activity inside. They've been the aggressor. It's straight up bully ball. And they have the horses to pull it off. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Tyrese Halliburton has been sensational. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And on the floor for Billy Donovan as we get him in the second half. We'll see DeRozan and Williams playing it forward. The guard set is White alongside Levine. And it's Vucevic in at the five, roaming the pace. And it's going to be out of bounds. The paces will take it. And check out the numbers for White. Last season's performance for him averaged about nine points per game, two assists, and three rebounds. And, and while the numbers are decent, I, I really feel like he can do more. Yeah, you know, his issue is more mental right now, I think. He just needs to block out the distractions and get back to being the star that he is. Now, here's Halliburton. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Oh, uh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, most notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. Just a remarkable young point guard. Bulls shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And Williams drops them both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Matherin finds Halliburton. Back to Matherin. Three-pointer. That's good. And it's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got three assists in the game. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. 
Turner against Levine. Here's Vucevic. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now, here is Halliburton. 12 points for him. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Pacers call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Here's Nemhard. Still yet to score. And it's Halliburton missing. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Pacers are a team on the rise, and Tyrese Halliburton says one of the favorite parts about the way we're building the culture here is it's not just showing up for a game, and that's it. We watch games, text about games, talk about games when we get to the arena. I just want to be around guys who love basketball and want to be great. Kevin? Isn't that special, David? Hey, thanks for that report. And it's Halliburton missing. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Halliburton against White. Three-pointer. And the Pacers can't get it to go. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. DeRozan with it. Now guarded by Siakam. Williams can't get it to go. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Indiana again missing. And the foul on Patrick Williams. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Neesmith, he's checked in for Indiana. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for the Bulls. Halliburton against White. Crafty move. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Halliburton. He seems to have just lost his touch. Only one for his first five here in the quarter. Now here's Levine. Scoreless thus far. Some nice ball movement here by the Bull. It's deflected. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Siakam. Taking a look here at some numbers for Nikola Vucevic. Last season, he played outstanding. He averaged about 17 points a game last year. 11 rebounds and three assists. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. Now, here is Halliburton. He's got 14. Passes it to Nemhart. Turner with the screen. Inside. And it's slammed in by Turner. Oh, you can't let Turner get that deep inside. When you do, he's going to abuse you with a throwdown right on top of your head. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Clark, here we are looking at Miles Turner, a terrific player. What stands out to you? There are a couple of things. His ability to knock down three-point shots as a big guy, but more than that, his primary attribute to me is the fact he's an outstanding rim protector. Excellent timing, runs the floor, and really protects the basket for his team. I like the way Halliburton continues to take more responsibility on the offensive end. His game warrants that he does that. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And now let's have a look at the teams that were last year's best from the free throw line. Number five, the Bulls. Collectively, I mean, they had an amazing year at the free throw line. Sometimes free throw shooting can be contagious. And it seemed like everyone on their team had the hot hand. 
Now, here's Tuckett following the miss by DeRozan. That puts them in the lead. Now it's a three-point Indiana lead. Rising fires. This is Siakam's attitude off the catch. And with these results, you understand why. DeRozan passes to Phillips. They can't stop the run with that one. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Kicks it to Smith. Siakam left side. Seven-foot shot. It's no good. He is four for ten in the game. To the middle. Here's Caruso. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got his fifth assist in this one. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Six seconds left in the third. And Smith launches it from deep. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Pacers lead by one. Live from Gainbridge Fieldhouse, you're watching 2K Sports. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Smith is out there with Toppin. Then it's Neesmith. And it's T.J. McConnell, and it's Halliburton into the two. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Pacers. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And just a great job converting those second chance points as well. They're having a great night getting those second and third shot opportunities. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back and cleaned the glass. Here's Halliburton. Chicago grabs the miss. Wide, wide open. And still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Levine against Halliburton. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Boy, you got to love the hustle from Smith. Really makes an impact at the defensive end. Halliburton passes to McConnell. Levine against Smith. There's the pass to Halliburton. Feeds it to Smith. And Smith slams it home. Terrific throwdown by Jalen Smith. He stuck it right to him that time. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Now here's Taylor, and stolen by McConnell. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Halliburton deciding where to go with it. Over Terry, it's deflected. And they'll get another chance. Four on the clock. Smith kicks to Halliburton, and he's good on the three ball. Halliburton's got the lead up to nine now for Indiana. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. And the Bulls will go for a different look here. Vucevic checked in for Taylor. Williams comes in for Terry. Tamar DeRozan is checked in for Alex Caruso. And it's wide in for Dosumer. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle with his team. 
coach not happy with the team. He told him, come on, we have to value the basketball. We're just giving it away. We'll see if they listen, guys. All right, David, thanks. Now, here's DeRozan following the miss by Tyrese Halliburton. Williams sets a screen for Levine. Halt the run. Another shot. He's off on that one. Good D by Siakam. Pass to Halliburton. Oh, Turner in position. Halliburton all about getting his teammates open looks. Does such a great job with his unselfishness making the pass. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Bean passes to Williams. Here's the break. And a wide open look for Matherin. That three off the mark. Bulls trail by 11. Out to DeRozan. Back to Vucevic. Off with the layup. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Outside, Levine. Down low. Here's Williams. Matherin with some nice defense. And it's the Pacers' ball. They've scored 10 straight. Pass to Halliburton. Here's the three, and it's White with the rebound. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. Now here's Levine. Out of bounds, Indiana takes possession. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. One fifteen left in the game. Pacers leading by 11. They're in for three. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. And Vucevic has got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. Indiana's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for Indiana. One area that stands out that we've seen tonight from them their aggressiveness in getting steals, something I know that you really value yourself. I think it sparked their offense. Uh, it deflates the opposition. And when you have the type of effort we saw tonight, it's pretty hard to overcome that defensive pressure down the stretch. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. Hey, guys, when you're going head-to-head -head against someone four times over the course of a season, it's a great feeling to snatch that first one. Good in-game adjustments tonight against the Bulls. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Tyrese Halliburton. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. And the first one drops. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Terry against Walker. Dosunmu, the pass to Terry. Terry with a screen on McConnell. Outside Carter. And again, no good by Chicago. Now McConnell. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Ulm, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Tyrese Halliburton.